Welcome back to Beautiful Desolation. It's time to give the herb to, I don't remember what their name is, but the person stopping us from seeing Uthi or Uti. Fresh herb, hey, little spot, you found some. I did, and it wasn't easy. Now I can see my dad again. Sure, I have so many questions to ask him. Is there anything I need to know before I meet Uti? There's a lot you should know. But first, you are too small to be taken serious. <laughs> and second, you're gonna have to take part in the challenge of Tik to see if you can commune with the Dulaha and Varia before you are allowed to talk to Uti. Can you tell me more about the Tik challenge? Tik is a ritual challenge to show if you are blessed by Daris, blessed with knowing to see far ahead. But Tick can also be used by one Hanasi to take the belongings of another. That's gambling. Ha! <laughs> A little bit. Yeah. Ritual gambler. Now, small man, you brought me my herb. You may go inside, and may Varia wrap you in his skin. The villager wears a bleached white ram skull mask over her head. The hulking Hanasi giant wears splashes of white war paint across his chest and arms. The ramshackle home has been built using sheet metal and car parts. Small Hanasi dwellings are bolted onto the building's side, sprouting like barnacles on a ship's hull. The bodies of fallen Hanasi are displayed with pride and respect. Scanning for radio signals. Gold Rhino. Probably worth two. I can buy those cigarettes now. Looks like someone has made the car's remains into their home. doesn't seem Agnite friendly. Under the influence of herb, the Hanasi villagers sway and stumble. Both of you stick close to me. The taxi's inner tubes are flat and the engine has been removed. Think they have what? Beyond the cracked wall, there's a view of the cityscape below. Or not. The air is thick with a bittersweet smell of herb. The Hanasi man looms on, on top of the bar counter, swaying to music only he can hear. And look at these creatures. So cool. A dog-like creature snarls and snaps at a small, vicious primate. Something potent must be brewing in this thing. 
fortress has a bird's eye view over the distant skyscrapers. The body of a car has been chopped down the middle to make the matriarch's throne. Oh, that's so cool! That's a really cool throne. Slaps of beef are drying slowly, infused with the aroma of burning herb. Two evil-looking oversized teak bugs face off against one another inside their wooden cage. Bets placed, the eager villagers settle down and wait for the bug fight to begin. <laughs> Has this small boy come to challenge Hoha to teak? I'm here to speak to Uti. <laughs> Even if the voice is small. I understand I have to play this game first before I speak to your leader. Tik is more than a game, small boy. Tik is a way to see if your spirits can commune with your future. The trekkers themselves found Tik box. Back when the sky was black and the world was cold. Hanasi have kept them alive all this time. Generations of fighting creatures, bred in the ether itself. When a Tikbog dies, so dies a lineage that goes back to time before the Mupanle. Yeah, fine, bring it on. Uh uh, no so fast there, boy. Before you can challenge in Tik, you need to bless the Tikbox with a bushel of herb to allow them to see into the future. Bring me some herb. That we may bless these creatures, and then, yes, we will play. Oh no, I think we gotta go back to the Herb Maiden, I think was their name, and hope more has grown. Okay, I'll be right back. Grab some more herb, and I tried just uh, like I did when I first got the herb, where after planting it, I just went up into the buffalo, and then immediately went back down to collect it that was enough to make it grow but i think that more won't grow until i've used up the one that i currently have so i hope i don't have to go back that could get really annoying before i go back to the tap house though i missed this entire area up here Scanning for poisons. There's a lot of steers, man. Fire is the life force of the village. The village dwellings extend upwards over the facade of an old skyscraper. Ceremonial fires are kept ablaze around the village. They built the houses on the sides of those buildings. Bucky, your dead body's hanging here. Hello. I'm gonna save first. Human male. Average build. Estimate age out 36 years. Human male. Large build. Estimate age out 46 years. Agnate Recon Drone. Estimate age at 3 years. Caught Narchi in a dark moment. Go away. Human male wishes to make contact. Await further input. I'm sorry for disturbing a private moment. Did you answer some questions? You apologized to Narchi, but why? You cannot be trusted. Possibility of trustworthiness undetermined. More data needed. Very well, human. Narchi will answer your questions. 
although we and us do not know much. I'm sorry if it's rude to ask, but are you a machine or just part of a machine? Our chief is Kikus. The drone is the drone. We and us are one. The drone is Narchi's eyes and legs. But inside the bone, it is moist and wet. Long ago, we Kikus lost our eyes. Some still have bodies. I'm too old to remember a time before I was removed from my body. Before I became we and us. Now, it is done. For all Cacus, it's always done. Cacus? So you're not a Nazi? Human male appears confused. No, not a Nazi. When a Nazi die, they hang the bodies to worship them. When Cacus are close to death, we are extracted from the old husk of our bodies. So, you're not allowed to die a natural death? No. Narchi has tr tried before. It's, it's forbidden. Cacus existence is necessary for continued documentation of geographic locations. If you're blind, how do you document anything? Drones are Cacus's eyes. Cacus are drones' brains. We and us work together. Cacus made maps. Maps of things that we will never see. It is lonely in the dark. Lonely without eyes. You lonely? Why don't you join the other Cacus? Why are you staying with the Hanasi? Kekus drone currently performing radio antenna maintenance to facilitate contact between Hanasi and Kekus home tree. So this antenna lets the Hanasi speak to the Kekus back where you come from? Yes. Home. Narchi, this is home. Home tree is very quiet. They stop talking to Hanasi. They stop talking. To we and us. Inside home tree is, is the transmitter, the voice of the Dullahan. Narchi misses its songs. Maybe the antenna is broken. And that's why it's quiet. Negative. Antenna is powered and operational. We and us have checked many times. Antenna is working. Kekus home tree has simply stopped talking. But even if home tree wanted to talk, loose lips took away Narchi's transponder. <laughs> took it away to the kettle. It's too far to travel. Without the transponder, we and us Get back in the home tree. Error. Too much information shared. Shutting down higher brain functions. Home tree security may be compromised. Home tree location updated on all wireless devices. Error. Please disregard all map updates. <laughs> I don't want to be in the dark anymore. Narchim, this is the last. <laughs> Temporary shutdown initiated. Entering short term maintenance mode. Okay, I gotta help them out. They're so sad. Uh, loose lips at the kettle. So I could try to get their transponder. That's a start. But for now, let's go back to the tavern. 
Ah, you are back, boy. And I brought some fresh herb. I see that. I will begin to imbue the tick box with the scent of young herb buds. So it is done. May our warriors have a glorious battle. Each player rolls two dice in turn. The player who rolls the highest wins the round. The player may spite their opponent's future, smite their opponent's future with one of three ceremonial relics. The teak bug will enact the will of the dice until it has no more life essence. Don't quite understand the may spite their smite their opponent's future with one of three ceremonial relics, but I understand the other parts. It's our health, six six. Hell of these burning little piles of herb. Cast an eyeball, guaranteed six seconds? Reroll on loss. Smite with ones. Oh, guaranteed sixes. As in the die. Smite with ones. Roll the die. Dice. We got 10. Nice. Oh, they just cast the bones. So re-roll on loss. Uh, so in that case, doing something like guaranteed sixes would be a terrible idea. We'd be guaranteed to lose. Well... No, we wouldn't be guaranteed to lose, but that'd be a pretty good chance. Basically, our first roll with this guaranteed sixes would be wasted, because they would get to re-roll, and then it would just be like a normal round. Um, But this, if I do the same thing, that would be also kind of... I... I don't think either would do particularly much other than put me on similar ground to them. What does this mean, though? Smite with ones. I'm not sure, but let's do the reroll. Uh, did my bones counteract their bones? Nobody rerolled there. I got double sixes. Let's try the smite with ones. Still don't know what that means. Oh, it guarantees the opponent has ones, I guess. Hmm. Should I do my guaranteed sixes? They have guaranteed sixes, so we would both draw. I guess, sure. I am humble. Your tick bug fought bravely. He killed my human, who have earned his name after many battles. You may not have to be tea, small man. But before you go, you may name your bug. It would be an honor to give it a name. What name would you bestow on this mighty warrior? Donovan Vumil Pooch. Oh. Vumil. It took their name. How about Vumile? After your fallen warrior, you want to fought so fiercely. Yes, a strong name to be sure. Now, one more decision. This bug has fought and earned its freedom. You can let it go. Or give it to me as a replacement to continue to fight for glory. Hmm. 
Mm. Set it free. I think it fought well. Let it go free. Very well. I shall release it into the ether, where it will live out its life in the wilderness. I remember a time before the world was like these, when our ancestors lived through us. I remember my first daughter crying up at me, her little face fierce as thunder. And what do you remember, Mark Leslie? Thank you for granting me an audience, great Uti. Forgive me for asking, but how do you know my name? To have a name is to have history. I am a student of history. I am a student of names. Word have reached me of your journey, but I do not know of your history. Our memory walker looked through the records of your name. You are not from here, Mark Leslie. The record? Could you put my name on the record and then they might let me into that Agnet base? You have access to the record. What does it say about me? We are not priests of tribulation. We do not access the records, but our memory walker remembers an old life spent inside the great temple halls. It remembers ancient effigies carved from white marble, banners celebrating Doris. It remembers the record, pieces that flow in and out from its mind like blood from a wound. A walker's mind is fragmented, filled with copies of copies of copies. After it read the name Mark Leslie, its mind became conflicted. It stopped responding. We will find a way to copy its mind again. But for now, the name and history of Mark Leslie are still being written. So tell me, Mark Leslie. What is that you wish to know? <laughs> I can either ask, after all of this lead up to talk to somebody this high up, this honorable, I can either ask, need information about the array, or why is everyone stoned? I'm looking for information about something called the array. You are not the first to ask about arrays. Years ago, the Chizanyama were scouring the plant for something called the Array Tether. We found one in an active Agnet based investor, and another one stripped on in the same mountain range. The Chizanyama took the Tether and returned it to their home, the grasslands of Zuzu. Why did they need the Tether? The Chizanyama say they are not made for this world, they are trying to leave. But if they leave, they will take the secret of the herb with them. And I cannot allow that. I know they are searching for something else. For a tear where reality is weak enough that they can pass through to their paradise. I think I can help you. And maybe these Chijinyama too. If you can find out where the tear is, we can help you get your tether device. What will you do about the tear? Negotiate. The Chizanyama have refused to talk to us. They have severed the umbilical cord that links us to our lost past. They have taken much from us. Why did they refuse to talk to you? Possibly because they heard we were attempting to grow our own up. It is possible, but not in the quantities we need. I can only provide so much milk before I am worn out. This will allow you to pierce the Chizayama shield and contact them. Now go, Mark Leslie. Help us and we will get you your tether device. 
which is a Nyama communication device. It's integrated with my PDA. You know, for most of the game, I forgot that I can zoom in and out. I don't really have any particular reason to zoom out this far. I kind of like it all the way in. Before I do the Chizanyama stuff, first let's go to the kettle. I want to see if I can pick up more herb now that I've used my current one. Mm, nope. Also want to go talk with Loose Lips. Oh, can't talk with them about the transponder. In that case, let's go to Casis, the new location we heard about. It's where the transmissions would be coming from if they were transmitting. Vines coil tightly around the gargantuan roots. The ruins are engulfed by the gigantic tree's root system. lake is dark and tranquil. Oh, they're being held up in the same way that Loose Lips is. Intricate images of animals and plant life are engraved into the metal surface. Luckily, I don't rust. Oh, yeah, they also have a similar covering on their face to loose lips. Kaleidoscopic fronds nestle among the roots of the enormous trees. I love how the alien life looks here. Any man-made structures have been swallowed by the forest. Never seen plants this thick. Thick creepers spread across the forest floor. Fuck, I just ate a bug. No time to talk, I'm looking for that gold. Somebody put a smiley face on the top of this power pole. Human male, average build. Estimate age out 36 years. Organic life forms may wish to engage in conversation. Organic life forms. Ask question. My name is Mark Leslie. This is my brother Don and our companion Pooch. Can you help us? Mark Leslie. Don, brother. The name's Mark Leslie. Don Leslie and Pooch have been recorded for future reference. The name of this unit is Raisin. Raisin. More questions? Raisin's a cute name. 
I'd like to enter Home Tree and speak to someone about your maps. Home Tree? No. The Cacus Collective has terminated Home Tree access to all non Cacus. Door hot burns you. Any organics attempting to enter the doorway to Home Tree will be incinerated. Why have they closed off Home Tree? Why? Raisin knows to be safe. Home tree access has been restricted due to increased safety concerns. The protection of the data and the drones is paramount. Protection? Who from? Chis and Yama, Hanasi, Flea, Mongrels, Agnate Soldiers, Priests of Tribulation, the Dolohan, Doris. Animal life, plant life. World, world is scary. Raisin is brave. Raisin, protect. Please vacate the area now. You have been warned. We will be incinerated and no organic life forms may go through. What about Pooch, perhaps? I guess that's all that's here. minds like a still pond disturbed by a tiny pebble are you that pebble gentle traveler because even a tiny pebble can cause great waves given enough time and we do not wish to drown i am a gentle traveler i don't wish to disrupt or harm you are you the chizinyama you have kind eyes and a soft way about you but many dangerous beasts will hold of bearing their teeth until just before they strike. We have trusted many people in our past, and that trust has often ended in blood staining the grass we now call home. It is hard for us to open ourselves to strangers. Even those with the kindness of the old gods emanating from them. Tell me, stranger, do you have a name? My name is Mark Leslie. I am Numpilo, mother of elf. I am Cheese. Behind me is Owito, son of the earth, who is also Cheese, and Chaka, who is Yama. We are Cheese and Yama to those that sit outside of our circle. To those who cannot see that a spirit is not one, but many. And now that you know who we are, and you know who you are, our lives have become entwined like a thread stitched in the fabric of our world. I'm here to build relationships with new friends. I hope we can help each other. And so, the ripple in the small pond comes to lap at the edge of the lake. We are always grateful to those that offer us help. Love can spread through the world like a wildfire if we pass on those embers through deeds of kindness. It so happens that we are seeking the help of someone who travels outside our homeland. But before we ask a favor of you, it is only fair to ask if there is any shadow on your life that we may cast a light upon. I heard you have a tether device. Ah, the ripples of our past deeds have spread to the current moment in time. We do possess a tether. Now, if you could answer a question from us, gentle stranger. The only others who know of our tether are the Hanasi in the city ruins. The winds have swept up many things in the past. Leaves, dust, the scent of fresh herbs and flowers. We read the wind like others read books. Even the twitch of the great lost Tokoloshi's ears holds close to our future. And with the storm clearly brewing in the distance, it is a surprise to hear that the Hanasi would tell a stranger of this. 
He took some convincing, but he eventually agreed to help me. Well, perhaps they were right to trust you with this information. It would seem that you are a man of worldly talents. Sir, can you help me get this tether device? Anyone wishing to come into our village is required to perform a selfless act for the tribe. Recover a lost treasure, help a fellow tribe's mate, or show an example of great bravery. The last man to try and enter our village vowed to bring us the lost Tokoloshi. He failed, and still he wants us the vast world, never knowing the joy of joining with us. The traveler before him tried to set up a small Chizinyama outpost in the south. But they were never heard from again. And when the first Yama split from the Hanasi to join us, they proved their worth in battle and even brought us the tether device. Is there something you need that I can get for you? We cannot tell you which path to travel. The winds will guide you and the old gods will whisper to you if you listen. Perhaps we will see you again, Mark Leslie. Perhaps. New location, Old World Ruins.